shows you structure in the atmosphere like you can't see with regular satellite images. And look at what's happening out west. I'm going to run this one more time and I want you to watch those swirls, those very pronounced swirls that develop there. What we have are a couple of very potent upper level storm systems developing. And what's going to happen is this first one right here is going to kind of weaken and kind of move to the east northeast. But this second one right here is going to take a track down across the south. And then with all the moisture coming in from the Gulf of Mexico ahead of it, very unstable air. Hey, does this sound familiar? This is exactly what happened last Sunday. Now, it's not quite as strong an upper level disturbance, but there is another outbreak of severe thunderstorms and possible tornadoes probable on Sunday. This is one week after we had that terrible tornado outbreak. So we'll kind of keep an eye on that through the weekend. But for us right now, you can see the snow is moving out. So we are in pretty good shape in that department. It should be gone in the next hour or so. And as we move through the night, uh, mostly a dry night and we'll see some breaks in the overcast developing and that will turn into mostly sunny skies during the day tomorrow. Now it is going to get breezy, but we'll get the sunshine temps back into the 50s. We can handle that. And then on Sunday, if you get out first thing in the morning, you're going to be fine. The dog's taking you for a walk or you can do an early morning jog, bike ride, something like that. But notice by late morning, showers already spreading across the northern half of the area and those will continue spreading southward through the afternoon. You folks in the south zone will be the last to get those showers on Sunday. All right, so 30 degrees overnight low, upper 20s in rural areas. And then as we move through tomorrow, increasing sunshine and 54 degrees for the high with a breezy afternoon under that southwest wind, 10 to 20 miles per hour. And now you'll notice we do have a bit of a cool down early in the week, low 50s, but notice toward the end of the week there, back up near 60 degrees. And I think that's a trend that's gonna stick around for a while. In fact, check out my 10 day forecast in the app and you can see how long that's gonna stick around. But We've kind of come out of a wintry week, but don't worry, guys. Uh, we're going to be back to the normal stuff very, very soon. Okay. That sounds good, Paul. We appreciate it.